Hey Troops, Gender Commando here and welcome to my YouTube channel guys. So today we've got another Indian reaction video. We are um, watching Rastia Rifles uh, Battalion answer the call of duty in Kashmir. So the, um, yeah, I can't wait for this one guys. The Rastia Rifles are a formidable fighting force in India and around the globe as well. They are uh, pretty decent special forces to say the least, if not one of the best there is in terms of what they do. So, before we get into it, please make sure you like the video, hit that like button now, subscribe to the channel, press that subscribe button, and if you want to become a member, join now, press the join button guys, all my social media links are below, Discord, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, you name it, merchandise, it's all there guys, and uh, you can even donate to the channel. Also guys, what we have available is Super Chat and Super Stickers, so if you want to donate the channel that way, just hit the Super Chat and you can help us out guys. But other than that, we're going to get straight into this one, enjoy. Rashtria Rifles Battalion, answer the call of duty in Kashmir. I'm looking forward to this one, troops. Boom, and boom. Oh, me, me, my raised as go. a specialized counter insurgency and counter terrorist force by the army the rashtriya rifles popularly called rr has been at the forefront of dealing with terrorism in kashmir it's a yeah so these guys are in kashmir all of the time which makes them so operationally um, experienced it's unbelievable these guys are always on operations always fighting always answering the call of duty for India. So let's get some respect in the chat now for Rashtriya Rifles. The force that has been raised with personnel on deputation from all arms and services of the army. Vion got special access to an RR battalion somewhere in the Kashmir Valley and witnessed from close quarters how the men are answering the call of duty. It's around midnight and the men of our battalion have just received intelligence on the movement of a group of terrorists in a forest area near Bardam. Ghatak platoon, which is a crack commando unit of about 20 men in every battalion led by a captain, are alerted and briefed. Pehle do scout, uske baad char covering party, aap char reserve party, और पीछे दो स्काउट किसी को कोई शक नहीं सर शक नहीं तो अपने हथियार लेने के लिए कोत में इसी वक्त चलेंगे ओके सो इज जस्ट गेटिंग इंफॉर्मेशन टू गो इन एंड डू द बिजनेस व्हाट यू आर लुकिंग एट देयर इज अ थिंग कॉल्ड क्यूबीओस इन द ब्रिटिश मिलिट्री क्विक बैटल ऑर्डर्स वी कांट हैव टाइम टू डू फुल ऑर्डर्स लेट्स गेट द गेट द इंफॉर्मेशन आउट लेट्स गो लेट्स एक्ट अपॉन इट गातक मींस लीथल राइट सो आई नेवर न्यू गातक मींस लीथल लीथल कमांडोस दैट्स अ नेम मैन दैट्स अ गुड नेम not be a more apt expression to define <clears throat> them they are a specialized infantry unit trained to a higher standard they spearhead a strike by the rest of the battalion they carry out raids on enemy positions airfields and supply dumps so the that's pretty much what we do in the royal marines we are specialized at raids mainly amphibious raids albeit but raids on land as well all right they can even operate from behind enemy lines. Ghatak commandos are always ready to move at short notice. Their mission is to head into the forests and ambush the terrorists. The location for the ambush is marked on a map. All other coordinates have been supplied. The men check their weapons, test communication gear, and head into the forest on foot. They have a long night ahead. The terrain is tricky, the darkness making it even more challenging to move ahead. But this is what they train for. Walking in pitch darkness now comes naturally to them. Yeah, if you're a commando and you can't operate at night, you're not a commando. So these guys will be specialized in operating at night, at dark. Why? Because, you know, it's hard to be seen um, unless you've got night vision goals. But even then, it's still hard to be seen. So um, straight off the bat, you can tell that these are a professional outfit. Um, yeah, working at night isn't as 
as easy as you'd think, guys. It comes with its challenges, I tell ya. Yet they move cautiously. Two scouts are ahead of the platoon, checking out the terrain, stopping every now and then, conveying their intentions or warnings through hand signals. It takes them around an hour to reach the point where the ambush needs to be laid. On nights like these, even a flutter in the bushes caused by animals can set alarm bells ringing. Mm. This is where night vision devices with thermal imaging come in handy. On nights when it is impossible to see even a few yards ahead, such night vision devices have proved a godsend. Once an ambush has been laid, the wait begins. It could last several hours. Sometimes a gun battle follows. Occasionally, they return without a shot being fired. Yeah, so an ambush, um, it depends on the environment. In a, a normal standard environment, you know, you could be in the ambush pretty much all night. Um, you'd move in, you know, after it's dark and you'd leave before it gets light. Um, in the jungle, it was taught very differently. Um, you know, you could be lay up in an ambush for an incredible amount of time yeah like i think it was 18 hours the longest one we was in um when we was in gabon so yeah these it depends on the environment how long you could be laid up in an ambush for um and actually we practiced in uh in wales we did pre-jungle deployment training in wales of all places in winter where it was minus degrees winter it was freezing, and, but we practiced everything the same as we would do in the jungle. So the timings and everything. So we sat in this ambush for like 20 hours or something, freezing. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was crap, guys, honestly. But even after the ambush is called off with no contact being made, the men exercise caution while heading back to base. There could be terrorists behind them. The slightest lapse can result in death or injury for the commandos. Once they get back to the base, they can relax. But before that, the drill of emptying their weapons of bullets is a must before dispersal. Yeah, weapon safety is key. Weapon down. It's morning. Other men of the Ghatak platoon are readying for a daytime surveillance operation in another area. This is where technology in the form of a quadcopter. Right, so you've seen a lot of this now, guys, in all the militaries using the the um, using drones. These things are very very effective. I actually fly drones um, as a pastime. I, 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 I'm into drones. And uh, their capabilities are phenomenal. And I dare, dare say the next five, ten years, these things will be ruling the battle space. Because um, their capabilities can just do so many things. And in the future, we'll be able to do much more. I envision these things being, um, you know, developed further to have weapon systems on them, bomb systems on them. It's all going to be electronic, guys. And these drones... A phenomenal bit of kit. If you like these drones and you know a bit about them, drop a comment in the chat. I'd like to hear from you guys. Copter. Essentially a drone that will help them carry out aerial surveillance over a vast forested area comes in handy. Major Manish explained the mechanics of the quadcopter and how it operates. Okay. If we descend it and it comes down, it will come exactly on the same position from where it was take off. The landing spot cannot be changed. It takes around uh, 5 meters of radius. In that 5 meter of radius circle, okay. it will come down in that circle only. Okay. So it has come uh, so to the altitude of 10 meters. It no, no, now, it is, now, it is, uh, now it will remain at this location at, till, time whenever, no, till the time we want it. Okay. In an exigency or in a situation where, you know, there is a crisis, there is an enemy nearby, Mm -hmm. And you are faced with a situation where you cannot land it at the spot from where it took that off. That is why where it, from uh, the position from where it is, you know, launched or mm. taken off, mm. that position is first secured in CI areas, mm. counter insurgency areas. No place is secured. 
Hmm. First, you have to secure it. Once it is secured, you are sure this place is secured now. You can, uh, you know, do your exercise there. But in night, I mean, just a, a you know question that comes to mind. Uh, there is a lot of peace, calm, quiet. The sound. Yes. Isn't it a giveaway to to a terrorist? Definitely. Hiding, hiding in the jungle. Yeah, definitely. But uh, you know, for few uh, such for some good things, you have to sacrifice few small little things. Some compromises. Yes. Have to. So now we are going to uh, <laughs> see this quad copter. The thing is, guys, some of the quad uh, copters, some of the drones out there now are super silent. I mean, I, 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 a lot of the militaries out there are not using these type of drones, guys. They're using things that are tiny. Yeah, that you can't hear. So, um, there's better kit out there, that's what I'm saying, and, yeah, it's whether or not you want to use it or not, guys. Landing? Yes. Exactly at the spot from where yeah. it took off? with the uh, 5 meter of radius. Right. You can see, it is almost exactly at the same place oh, where it was. There it is. Where it was launched. We just witnessed the demonstration of how this machine is now proving to be a big help to the Indian Army as it's as it fights insurgency in Kashmir is as it tries to you know tackle militancy fight terrorists it is helping make these operations easier for them the aerial visuals have been secured the topography of the area is crystal clear now these commandos will wait for dusk before returning to the forest clearly another long night awaits them but if their intelligence is accurate and they are in position, alert and ready, they could score another success in the war against terrorism. In Kashmir, with video journalists Sanjeet Raut and AK Ranjit, Raghavendra Rao, we on. Right, okay then, true. So that was um, Rashtriya Rifles answers the call of duty in Kashmir. So what they're doing is they're showing us a little bit of their um it shows a little bit of their capability guys okay and um a fascinating capability that is uh drones then they do have a use in the military um a very good use and i can only see that use getting extended over the next decade or so to a point of where it's unrecognizable guys what we're using drones for that's what i personally believe anyway um, let me know what you think about that in the chat, guys. But, um, yeah, that was quite an interesting video, that. It was um, more of a demonstratory video to show you some of their capabilities, but not all of them. I was expecting it to be a, um, a slightly different video, actually, but it was more of a um, an informational demonstration video. So it was quite good to see the Russia rifles and um, see a little bit more of their capabilities. So... Uh, yeah, if you're watching this right now, you're from India, thanks for watching, brothers and sisters. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys. Yeah, like the video, drop a comment down below for a chat, and um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.